right, so this video is going to be on the topic of layoffs in cybersecurity. This question has definitely been top of mind in my comments, as well as lots of other tech career channels that I've seen, especially considering that we are currently in a recession or even with some articles saying things like the recession hasn't even started yet and that next year is going to be the worst of it. Honestly, things like this are really hard to determine, especially when no one knows where the market is gonna go. Because for example, a few months ago, so many different companies were hiring, all the big tech companies were trying their hardest to hire as many people as possible. There are so many articles about having not enough people in the workforce. And this is definitely not just in the last few months. This has been the last few years, to be honest, especially with so many articles out on the shift in work dynamics between the employee versus the employer and the leverage that either parties have. At one point, employees definitely had a lot more leverage to be able to move around to different companies. And so many companies were hiring and having a hard time filling in their positions. And that was maybe even just a few months ago, earlier this year. And comparing that to today, where so many companies, most of the big tech companies are having hiring freezes or have had hiring freezes lots of different tech companies also had layoffs some had mass layoffs and in general there seems to be a consensus of a lot of big companies who are trying to shrink their workforce probably because of all the over hiring that happened throughout the last few years as well as of course all the news about recessions and the economy and the downward trending market I know that was a long intro, but in today's video, I really wanted to cover the topic of layoffs in cybersecurity because this is definitely top of mind for many people working in cybersecurity and especially for those of you guys in my audience who are currently trying to get into that first job in cybersecurity or even just haven't even started their cybersecurity career yet. And maybe you're currently a student, maybe you've had an internship, maybe you're just really concerned about the job prospects of a cybersecurity career after you start officially looking for jobs, especially with all this negative news and media coverage around recessions and layoffs, especially hitting the tech sector hardest. And by now I'm sure many of you guys have seen the articles about, about the layoffs that are happening in tech, but even for cybersecurity roles, which is something that definitely surprised me a little bit when I started reading these articles. For example, lots of cybersecurity startups have laid off thousands of their employees, including companies like OneTrust, Deep Instinct, Cyber Reason. But one thing definitely to note is that cybersecurity layoffs are definitely not at the scale or at the level of tech layoffs or layoffs outside of tech in general. For example, this article from Cyber Protection Magazine discusses the topic of how cybersecurity jobs in general aren't as impacted by the mass layoffs that you're seeing all across tech and across other sectors as well that are more heavily affected by an economic recession. This article points to a few reasons why cybersecurity jobs aren't getting hit as hard and those reasons include a growing demand and business needs for cybersecurity professionals as well as rising cybersecurity awareness in corporations. This is definitely something I've touched on in my previous videos about reasons why you want to get into cybersecurity and why it's such a good field to be in especially now when cybersecurity is rapidly growing. You've already heard the statistic many times that I've shared on the channel where cybersecurity magazine shared that there will be about 3.5 million jobs going unfilled by 2025 in cybersecurity. Even to this day companies are having a hard time filling in their cybersecurity roles it takes on average a longer amount to fill in a cybersecurity position compared to a typical role in tech or outside of tech and honestly one of the big factors of that is because there just isn't enough talent or there isn't enough specialized talent for a specific role that companies are hiring for in general there's just a lot of demand across the board for cybersecurity jobs and because companies and recruiters and hr teams are aware of this even during a recession they aren't just letting go of 50 percent of their cybersecurity teams companies are aware that cybersecurity professionals are very necessary no matter what your market cap is because there's going to be malicious attackers at various different levels who are trying to steal your company's data, who are trying to hack into your systems, and if you don't have the cybersecurity personnel on your team within your company to be able to prevent those attacks, then you also aren't able to meet the expectations of your stakeholders, your customers, your clients, and that realization has definitely become very well known even in the last few years when we've heard of so many different breaches and security incidents have occurred in small, medium, to large size companies, just the reputational damage alone that comes with a cybersecurity incident, especially one that is not well managed or one that is not properly disclosed to the public or to whatever customers or clients, that could be a huge cost in the millions and even billions in terms of reputational damage, the cost to fix the downtime, any information that was lost or stolen during that security incident. Companies across the board are definitely putting a lot of value in their cybersecurity teams. And I wouldn't necessarily go as far to say that cybersecurity is recession proof. I've actually made a video a few months ago on the recession proofness of cybersecurity jobs So I can link that below if you guys want to check out a little bit more about that topic But just as a little brief of that video, I don't think any job in the US is necessarily
necessarily recession proof, especially considering the employment at will policies in the US. Job security is definitely one of my number one priorities that I look for in future roles that I apply to in cybersecurity. And that's also a big reason why I decided to get into cybersecurity as my career option right out of college. While I wouldn't say that I always feel 100% secure in my job all the time, I still feel a pretty strong confidence in being able to retain my job even during a recession. Of course, nothing is 100% guaranteed. They're going to stay in a job. And again, this will vary depending on the company you're in, the sector you're in, the size of your team, the work that you do. But one thing I like to bring up is the fact that the only job I think that is really recession proof slash layoff proof is probably being a Supreme Court justice. And even then, I guess things could happen where you could lose your job. But for the most part, that is probably the only job that is super, super secure. And outside of that, you should just try your best to go into a role that is as secure as possible. And I do think that cybersecurity in general is one of those most secure jobs in tech. So one question might be, why does cybersecurity differ from other sectors in tech or other sectors in general when it comes down to layoffs and how recession proof that it may be? And I think one of the key things is the fact that cybersecurity as a job is unique in a way where you are directly protecting a company and its assets. Technically, cybersecurity jobs are not money-making teams. You're not profit generating. You're not coming up with the latest and greatest. You're not creating a new product. Well, technically you could be, for example, if you're a cybersecurity company that has a cybersecurity product that you sell to other companies, but for the most part, cybersecurity teams aren't profit generating, especially if you're an internal cybersecurity team that works for a company. But the fact of the matter is that attackers, nation states, hacktivists, criminal organizations that want to steal the company's data, that are APTs, that are using many advanced tools to be able to hack your systems and steal your data, aren't going to stop just because there is a recession. In fact, there may even be more activity from those types of groups during a recession, which is another crucial reason why you need to keep your cybersecurity teams, even when there's a potential market downturn. And even for recessions, they typically aren't going to be lasting years and years. And if you let go of your entire cybersecurity team today, there's going to be no one left to protect your systems, your applications, your customers, your data. And there are even compliance guidelines and SLAs or service level agreements that you've already signed with your customers and clients that require certain guidelines around your cybersecurity teams, how they handle incidents, when incidents are reported to, to affected stakeholders. So there's just so much more to think about when you're deciding to let go of your cybersecurity personnel. Because cybersecurity is just so intermingled into all the other areas of a company and, and what a company requires from their cybersecurity team. One statistic that I've seen from the Bureau of Labor Statistics for general job growth in the US, I'm using an information security analyst role as an example, but if you take a look at this chart, the BLS reports that across the board from 2021 to 2031, across all jobs in the US, there's going to be a 5% growth rate across the board. That is definitely still positive because there is job growth, but if you take a look at the rest of the chart for computer occupation, which is any job related in the tech space, the growth is expected to be around 15%. That is, again, a very good amount of growth. But if you look at the statistics for information security analysts, there's going to be a 35% change in terms of in terms of employment by 2031. And that is a huge growth across the board. It just shows how much demand there is for cybersecurity professionals. And this isn't even covering the pen testers, the blue teamers, every other role that is in cybersecurity that isn't just information security analysts. List. And I think that this definitely gives kind of like the whole picture for the growth that you'll see in cybersecurity across the board. And that is another reason why I think cybersecurity in general is a bit more recession proof compared to other roles in tech even. So hopefully all these statistics and all the topics that we covered in this video today and hopefully gave you some assurance on going into cybersecurity as a career in general if this is a field that you want to go into. I also wanted to share that I have my course that is currently live on how to get your first job in cybersecurity and I can share that link in the description below if you want to check it out. It is primarily focused on helping you get that first job in cybersecurity from everything in your resume, your cover letter, to networking, to interview prep and career guides, as well as as well as the job application process itself. If you guys are interested in checking it out, I would really appreciate it. This is my first course, and I would also love to get your feedback on it if you guys do decide to take it. And hopefully this can also help those of you who are currently trying to break into cybersecurity. Maybe you just graduated from a boot camp, or you just graduated from college with your bachelor's or your associate's degree, and you're trying to get your foot in the door for that first job in cybersecurity. All right, so that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have 
any questions in the comments below. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing or liking this video. It would really help me a lot. And it would also help push out this video to other viewers who may be interested in, in cybersecurity or tech career content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.